Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited for this episode. We are actually getting into the plumbing. Yeah, we finally laid some pipe. <gasps> Literally. Yeah, uh, that's plumbing pipe, of course. <laughs> Um, but we are uh, in for a treat on this one. Um, we really get to button it up a lot. Um, we get the sink in, which yeah. has so many cool little gadgets, and I love it. Yeah, it's actually nicer than the sink we have inside the house. It truly is. It truly is. Yeah, and then I also got this water filter system hooked up. I cleaned up all the wires by the water eater. Yep. So we're getting close to finishing up this bad boy. Yeah, guys, so make sure to like, subscribe, comment below. We love when you guys, uh, you know, give us some comments, give us some shout outs. It really, really means a lot. So let's see what you got this week. Thank you. Enjoy the episode. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so I got my plumbing supplies here and I'm ready to do some work and knock out this plumbing. You guys just sit there, relax and enjoy watching me work. I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on the plumbing I've done so far. So as you guys see, I got my main line coming in up here and then into through where the filter system is. And then this one going down there, that's gonna go towards the bar top, the outdoor kitchen. And then this one is coming up to the water heater and then also going into the boathouse. Have a little brain fart yesterday. Is this T piece right here? I want to move this T so it looks like it will be just cleaner so it's just one pipe coming through with a t coming from the water filter system uh, here in america we call this a water heater and in south africa we actually call this a geezer so a uh, useless fun fact for whoever cares okay guys so we're making good progress with the plumbing over here we got the drains tied in so i just need to put down one pipe and then we're into the kitchen at the outdoor kitchen into the sink at the outdoor kitchen um, the family friends that I actually work with when I got off the cruise ship gave me a call. They're working right up the road here and I'm quickly gonna run to them, say hi and show you guys one of the first projects that I did with them. Uh, so yeah, come along for the ride. God, he was also part of the family friends that helped me get a job here in the States. Ever so grateful for them. This big David over here laying some tile and uh, it feels pretty crazy uh, back to my roots where I started and these are the people that gave me the chance and uh, yeah ever so grateful for them enjoy the rest of the video what you got there just got this pipe <laughs> 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 Come up. It looks like a fruit roll up. <laughs> I know. What is that? It's the glue I used for the plumbing pipe, for the drain pipe. I, oh. I spilled it accidentally. You spilled it? Yeah, I spilled it. There's the blue. Yeah, I put some more glue on. Wow. What are you going to do about this beautiful um, air conditioning unit? Everybody loves a good old uh, window unit, you know? Uh, I think we might just keep it. <laughs> now we'll probably we'll probably take it out and uh, make a, a niche so you can put your natural soap and shampoos. But we don't know what we're gonna put here yet. They haven't voted. Maybe I already decided. <laughs> Are you? Okay guys, I just want to give you guys a quick update of uh, where we are with the plumbing. As you guys see, I got the water filter system all installed, got all the new plumbing done, and then also reconnected the water heater. And then I did temporarily connect this water line to the old existing water lines. And I'll change that out as whenever we're gonna remodel the inside. I still need to do the wires and electrical, tidy that up. And then as you guys can see the hot and cold water, 
running up here into the outdoor kitchen underneath the sink and then the drain lines is also hooked up so next thing is gonna be to hook up the sinks and the faucet so let's get to it okay here is the upstairs underneath the sink so that's where the hot and cold water comes in and that's my drain line coming out so i'm gonna have to run the pipes and then connect the drain line and then also connect the water that's going to the fridge for the water dispenser and then i also need to set the sink so as you guys see i got some tape around the sink so it's got two purposes so basically the one is to for me to exactly know where the sink needs to go and then the other thing is i'm going to put silicone underneath it and then it's going to squeeze it out and then the tape will protect the countertop from getting silicone all over it and then when i remove the tape i've got clean lines all over and now it's time to set the sink I got two buckets of water. The water is to put some weight on the sink. Once I put silicone underneath it, I'm gonna put the buckets of water on it, let gravity do its thing. Once that's set in, then I can connect my uh, drain lines and get that all buttoned up. is the next day here and as you guys saw me i left the sink overnight for that silicone to set up and then this is the actual package that's all the ingredients all the goodies that's going to go into the sink so i'm going to unwrap it with you guys and then i've got a couple of other things like the faucet and the water cleaner that i'm going to actually put into the sink start opening up and see what we got and take you guys along the ride like a fall christmas opening so Let's see what we got. That's gonna be for the drain. And then this is, this is gonna be the exciting stuff. Cause we ordered this sink probably about like four or five months ago. And I was just sitting in the garage cause I had to get it for the layout of the kitchen. Um, so yeah, I haven't even opened it to see what there is. And even if I have everything that I need. So some sort of drip tray. It's like a tray you can roll out. And we got this cool wooden board and our big grip. Oh, so that's the bottom of the sink. And then this sits at the top. Pretty cool. I like it. I think it's going to look super epic. Faucet is just a regular old faucet pretty straightforward so the next thing is actually going to be to hook up the drain lines to the sink installing the faucet and this pretty cool water washer it's one of those things where you press your glass in it it's like squirts water and cleans rinse out your glass a little bit of plumbing to do get all these goodies inside the sink and uh, let's see what it looks like Okay, so we got those two things in and this is what it looks like underneath here. We are making progress and almost there. So just to connect the drain line with the P-trap and then that should be all Gucci. Alrighty guys, so I got the drain hooked up. All the plumbing is buttoned up and we are looking good so yeah very happy with that this is the sink with all the the goodies that we got in so it's like a rolling shelf thingy and then uh drip tray we got a cutting board all the things we got water everything is a-okay we are very happy and pleased and then oh that uh sprays quite a lot didn't expect that to be so aggressive 
Alrighty guys, so uh, now that the plumbing is done, I need to attack this rat nest over here. So you guys can see there's only one wire coming in. That's basically gonna feed to the water heater, but then the previous owner did a whole bunch of connections to run extension cords underneath the ground and like a whole bunch of stuff that don't look safe or probably isn't safe and up to code. So I'm gonna take this apart, clean it up and uh, let's see what we can get it like. Okay guys, so we got that all finished up. I took care of that rat nest. I put a little junction box got a nice clean wire going to my water heater so everything is looking safe i ran a little wire going to a outlet over here i don't have any other power out here so if i need power i've got a little junction box over there i'm gonna put in a little door over here and then one thing i would also just want to point out i moved this frame stud a couple of inches over just for the sake of if i have to ever in the future hopefully not anytime soon have to remove this water heater then there's enough gap in between that i can just pull it out and i don't have to change up all the framing or to take everything apart so that's going to be it for the plumbing video and then in the next video you guys will see me closing out this put in my little spigot and then also closing on the other side and definitely a couple of other cool things happening so guys what did you think of the episode i mean i know my opinion is i cannot believe this is sam's first time doing that electrical i mean those wires looked insane and you got it to all fit in one little box that looked like it needed a little bow <laughs> yeah it was a little bit crazy but uh i had to get it done because it just didn't look safe so <laughs> i don't think um, it was safe i really no, don't it wasn't for sure no and the plumbing also looked incredible yeah so we finally got the plumbing done i'm super stoked about <laughs> that i know it feels like it took four weeks to get to the plumbing but eventually i got to the plumbing so we got water filtered everything is good yeah that filter was super impressive i mean it what had three compartments yeah so how it's did all, that work? all different kinds of filters like uh sediments and carbon and all the things to to make sure we got clean healthy water yeah so excited i love the sink i i mean i literally love everything and it's gonna look incredible when it's all done i think you know what we should give them a little sneak peek of next time Woo! So, we're tiling yeah we find we're gonna do some tiling in the next video uh in the griddle area and the little shelf area and this is the tile that we get gonna, a little bit closer show us that we're gonna go with it's that beautiful green we love it that emerald yeah. green um obsessed i really want to bring up or bring to everyone's attention if you look in the comment section you might see a different language in there what yeah. is that <laughs> so that's my uh, fellow south africans uh, replying in uh afrikaans which Afri is my afrikaans afrikaans no, yes so that's my first language um and then there was one guy who asked me i'm gonna say in english then i'll repeat in afrikaans he asked what's up with my accent in afrikaans he said um what can on my accent good man so um the reason why i sound the way i sound because there was another comment on facebook actually that asked me also do i use an app to sound the way i sound <laughs> and no it's just the way i sound because i never spoke english in south africa and i really only started speaking english uh, when I joined the States on the cruise ships and that's why I think why my accent sounds a little bit more Americanized than more South African but I can still speak in a very strong South African accent if I have to <laughs> and sometimes guys if you hear you almost see hear a little uh, southern twang come out yeah so and in America to give you guys a quick uh, idea here for me when I came here every time I went out to order some food I had to repeat myself all the time with my South African accent and I got frustrated uh -huh. and that's why I also like kind of Americanized my English just to help order me some food. <laughs> that's true. I remember there was times, I think maybe the first year when we got back to America, um, you wouldn't even go through the drive through line without me having to lean over you and actually order for us. <laughs> yep, that's true. Fun fact. Very true. <laughs> yeah, this is it for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, um, get ready for next week's tiling. And honestly, I think we should be buttoning up upstairs completely. So I think we'll have some before and afters for well, you Well, there's a couple of special things coming after the tiling oh, going on the wall. That's a um, little bit extra I mean everything's gonna be finished but there's a little thing little things that we want to add on to just give a little extra touch all right guys so make sure you like subscribe comment Drop those comments share with your friends and family if you know anybody who likes little DIY projects uh, send it their way bye peace Poof. hello guys so it's the next day here Let me just get this pipe up
laying some pipe. The concentration. I'm struggling. <laughs> no concentration. Who wears short shorts? There we go. I wear short shorts.